All right, we're already starting game one on Town and City. Um, I think it's pretty standard for how to, where they usually go. Yeah, Vivi really likes the stage, uh, despite the fact that, you know, extra low roofs and glass zone is a little bit closer on the side. Not as close mm -hmm. as Smashville. I think what, why he feels that way is because Lucario likes to uh, FD as a stage, right? Yeah. I know you play Lucario too, so you might happen to know better. But uh, Town and City right now, it's basically FD. There's no platforms. That is true. So the fact that like Lucario sees absolutely no benefit from platforms. Yeah, he doesn't if really anything, juggle well with his up airs or anything. So yeah, if anything, it hurts. Platforms actually hurt him a lot, mm -hmm. just due to the fact that uh, when he's up being, if he uh, does not go directly for the ledge or directly onto the stage, he is committing to at least a full second and a half of landing lag. It also hurts him in a way in that his opponents can retreat to the platforms to get away from the spear. Because on a flat stage like FD or the flat portions of town, uh, if you have to land high up and Lucario is a fully charged Aura Sphere, that can cross space really quickly and you're going to be pressured by it. Oh, wow. Yep. Still just barely missing his grab there. But it has Lucario at a fairly comfortable percent. Can definitely kill confirm soon. Mm. Especially right now. He just has to get it before uh, BB gets a little too strong. Still at that risky, uh, he's in that risky position. The back here will definitely kill See, and there's, there's an Aura Sphere there, almost taking the stock at 67. And you don't want to give this character more chances. You need to st you steal that stock. And I feel like the best way to do that is actually not necessarily patient play, but just pressuring him with your buttons. Lucario is notably poor out of shield options outside of down air, but that requires you to be on top of him. So if you can just pressure a shield like back airs and short hop auto cancel fares, you can uh, deny Lucario of charging Aura Sphere. That was an interesting option by Vivi. I don't know if he meant to F tilt in the wrong direction downwards. Okay, now they're <laughs> still just sitting halfway across the stage, saying like, I don't want any part of this. Until he doesn't need to approach. Exactly. Lucario is no aura. How is he going to kill him? Uh, Except he's going to wait until he has aura. Yeah. And then he's got to play the most dangerous game. I always hear the strategy of how you're supposed to time out Lucario when you have that kind of lead, but he has three and a half minutes. It's kind of going to be hard to time him out. <laughs> and at this point, it's still it's too late already because he's down a stock and it's 55%, which means he has a decent amount of aura on him. Because aura is not only dependent on your percent, but also your stock count relative yep. to your opponent. So if you have one less stock than your opponent, your aura is already stronger than theirs. Right now, Vivi has about 100% aura. Yeah, roughly. Generally, good rule of thumb is an extra 20% to 30% ahead, depending on what uh, what percentage you have them at. Does that apply to the opposite too? So if you're a stock about, I think it's like 0 0.7, 0 0.3. Okay. Dill's playing it safe though. Hasn't lost, hasn't lost his first stock yet. Just knows to take his time. And just pass through Lucario from a safe distance. If Dill is careful, he can finish this with two more grabs. Because he will be able to do a up, up throw, throw up, up air. air. Oh, Ooh. that F smash though. Only getting the second hit, but it doesn't matter anyway. Commanding two stop. Ooh, is something wrong with his arm? I think he was uh, C bouncing a little bit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to my guy. There's no C bouncing. <laughs> the car doesn't have C bouncing. Well, he does, but it doesn't really help him at all. Use it, yeah. All right, we're going to the classic Lucario counter pick. I wonder what Dill banned for them to go here. Mm, Battlefield, probably. Hmm. Is it really worth it to ban Battlefield against Lucario, though? We were just talking about that, how it probably doesn't benefit him too much. So the extra large uh, blast zones do make it a lot harder to. Uh, it makes it a lot. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Oh wait, he has a jump. It was a two frame. Oh, that was but so he's dead. smart. Giving him with that super fast down air. At just twenty six percent, I believe. And the Carter down air will not link into the second hit against Diddy, and it will not put Diddy in a position to come back unless you're like a super max aura. That actually benefits him off stage, huh? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love the cross up on the fair. Nice. So here oh. we see the the effects of uh, Anubis coming in. I thought Anubis referred to his up strategy. It does. I like calling it Anubis as shorthand. Because <laughs> what else do you call it? Comeback? Aura. Oh, comeback aura. Just aura. 
No, but then what do you call the stock thing? Oh, like a stock advantage? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. Stock I guess that would be Anubis, because that's where the strategy based itself off of. For sure, we can go with that. But now, uh, we have a different position from last game, where Vivi is up in... You could say this was a lead before he got slapped by that F smash. <laughs> Jumped right into that. So when, uh, when Macario is ahead of stock, he has, I think, 0.7%... 0.7 times multiplier on Aura. So he weakened himself a bit. A lot. In the lead, yeah. A lot of it. He had to basically kill Dill while he was at above 100 plus because he wasn't going to do it before then. And now that... Uh, he wins it right back up despite losing that stock so early. They're completely even percents. See, Dill's like playing at a very specific range. Yeah. And is like super effective. And Aura Sphere is reactive. He's playing at a space where Lucario can't just shoot Aura Sphere safely and also doesn't have the range on his buttons to pressure Diddy Kong. Hey, Vivi's also not allowed to uh, wave bounce in on uh, on Dill because Dill's looking. Because at this point, Up Smash will kill off of wave bounce to Aura Sphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just hitting the back of Lucario's shield with those back ears. Can't really do anything about that. Smart monkey, but. Mm -hmm. Something you see a lot, also a lot is that Dill is going to be fishing for down tilt to F smash. There we go again. Baited the affair this time and then... Ooh. Wow, he just went right past him! Yeah, he threaded the needle. He got in between the two hitboxes. <laughs> Mensa. Oh, we tried to get the wave bounce there. Are we going to see an up throw? No. No, it's too high for that. Nice footstool. Oop, and that's... You can hear. The vacuum yeah, cleaner. Yeah, once you hear that sound, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> you know the vacuum cleaner is on when you hear that noise. Yeah. Banana disappears from existence. <gasps> the banana saving his life. This is Dill's best chance to finish this. That was such a it's good. It, oh, it's over. No, he doesn't get to the ground fully. Yeah, Vivi's like, I, I messed up. I yeah. needed to. Uh, I needed to go straight for the ground instead of trying to loop around you, and that was not the best trajectory. Dill going to capitalize that, and uh, I think that's the first time Dill's actually beaten Vivi this season. So good this stuff. This season, maybe. Yeah, I know he's beaten him before, of course, but uh.